I think we need to put things in context. Um, what I find interesting about this whole exchange um, is that SNAG have issued four press releases within a very short period of time. It's more than the other two political parties put together. Two of the people on, uh, or in fact the founder and the chair of, of SNAG is a member of the GST executive. Um, they complain about a number of things, but nobody talks about what we've actually done. And that's what I think is so unfair about it. I mean, when you look back at Sir Joe Bolsonaro's record in terms of delivering for the people, 50 years of public service plus, he helps those that he believes need help most. And in 2012, he set up for the first time ever the Supported Employment Company. It was called the Supported Employment Company. He's got 68 people working primarily in private sector companies employed by SEC, so it doesn't cost the firms any money. What can be wrong about that? Why do we talk about that? So why do we talk about what, what he's done and what he continues to do and not nitpick for political purposes? Because this has been a non-slaught on his credibility, his character. I mean, there's a member of the GSC executive, and forgive me for reading this to you, Tariq El Yabani, who says about Sir Joe Bosano, who's given 50 years of his life to serve our people and the Amrits, stop wheeling this old bigot out, plonk him on a wheelchair directly to elderly residential services. Is that not political? Member of the GST executive having a go at Sir Joe in respect of this very issue and insulting him in that manner? I mean, is that okay? Now, if a group wants to engage with us to talk about any of these issues, delighted. But what we can't do is allow a group to be used purely for political ends. Even Eric, who I know well, he used to be my football coach many years ago, um, he's hashtagging time to go. But he's apolitical. Come on, let's get serious and let's talk about the real issue, which is what can we do better to help those who need our help? And really that for me is what the issue is about. And I wanted to come and, and respond. The government says that Sir Joe Bosano has explained the government's position very clearly, but he did say on Gibraltar today, and he did say this, that uh, disabled people are, are less likely to be engaged and more likely to take time off sick. Is that the government's position? Look, I think, I think from a pure logical position, if people have special needs, um, they are not the same needs as somebody that doesn't have them. And by, by definition, if what Sir Joe is saying is if they do have extra needs, be it more time off, be it more help, be it less time working, be it less productive, then they will be cared for. And that's what he's saying. And I understand and I agree with that point entirely. Uh, you've criticised Atrish Sanchez for wearing two hats, ultimately, the, a member of the GSD executive and also the spokesperson for the Special Needs Action Group. But there are also, and have been in the past, members of the GSLP executive who are also members of NGOs too. For example, Unite the Union, the SDGG. Is that not double standards on your no. part? No, not at all. The difference is, is this. The difference is that snag is being used by this personal attack on Sir Joe for political ends and not for dealing with the issue at hand. And that's the distinction. If you want to play politics, delight it. The more, the merrier. We genuinely want more people involved in politics. But don't hide behind an association uh, uh, to play your politics through. And that's what we're calling out. So if, if Atresh or if Eric want to have a discussion with us about issues, no problem at all. But what they can't do is seek to use another organization, um, apolitical, as they suggest it is, but play politics at the same time. That's what we've called out.